go to Cannes. Good morning, Clifton Beach. Wow, this is nice. So we're gonna head to, back to Cannes and catch a boat to the Great Barrier Reef. Do some snorkeling. All right, look at this. Gonna get a good day. Heading to the Great Barrier Reef. Cannes, Australia. So we got some good weather. It's been a lot of rain and a lot of wind from the cyclone that came through here about three weeks ago, just before Christmas. So it looks like we're gonna get lucky. We'll see you out there. So here's our trip to the Green Island. And what we did was we booked it through Get Your Guide. And we use that for pretty much all of our adventures. It's really well organized. The prices are good. They do a good job of informing you of where you have to be. Uh, everything works out really well. So here is our trip to the Great Barrier Reef. We really enjoyed the sea turtles. That was the highlight. Uh, it was a little bit murky during the day from the recent cyclones and storms, but we got a lot of great views and like I said, the turtle was definitely the highlight. tree reminds me of the one in Lahaina. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at that thing. Wow. So we got this really cool Airbnb. It's about 10 miles north of Cairns in an area called Clifton Beach. Really nice, really quiet. And we had a one bedroom. It's kind of nice to have the kitchen so we can cook dinner, eat at home, relax, watch a movie, catch up from the day. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Bathroom, washer and dryer, that's huge. And our bedroom, it's pretty cool. And we just really enjoyed it. So check it out. Making some dinner. What are you making tonight, babe? Um, more sweet potatoes from the oven, and got some roast, uh, roasted chicken, and some gravy. Like, we're creatures of habit. <laughs> cool.
Okay, we made it to our rental car. Here it is. Okay, let me get in. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> oh my gosh. This should be interesting. Think so. All right, so first time driving on the left side hand of the road. As you can see, there's Doug. He's driving on the right. A little bit more recently. A little bit. But we'll be okay. We just need to take it slow and follow the car in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going I don't even know what way to go. Okay, so no way. You need to take no, your time. I gotta to go. Your, I'm gonna no, go. It says I'm gonna go. make sure you the mirrors are good. I got the mirrors. Do you know where your blinkers are? Yes. Okay. You're on the right. You know your blinkers are over. Everything okay. is in the same place except for the blinkers and the washer windshield wipers are switched. Okay. So we might do that. Okay. And turn the blinkers. <laughs> I'm trying to help help you and do a checklist, but whatever. Way out. <laughs> weird. That's so weird. Okay. Made it to the first turn. So we had a little bit of a problem at the airport with our rental car through Eurocar and they required us to have our passports with us and we left them at the Airbnb. We had no idea that you needed uh, your passport, this ridiculous, because all the other uh, rental car companies kept saying, yeah, don't, we don't need your passport. You got into the country just fine. We just need your driver's license. So, and some didn't even need an international driver's license, just your regular driver's yeah. license work, but we recommend that you get both. So we had to cancel Eurocar, yeah. and it was $650, and we had to go with Avis. Now, the good news is I've got my preferred from Corporate America, thank you. So I booked with Avis, and it was about $250 more. So, okay, we have to pull over <laughs> and figure out where we're going. Yes, bye. Okay. There we go. It's about an hour and a half over to the other side, and we end up in a old town where we get to spend about two hours. So let's go check it out. Thank you. Okay, we are on the sky rail and we're heading about an hour and a half up the mountain. We'll show you some footage here. Stay tuned. Yeah. And I have to say something. I'm so happy that we're not in the car with other people because I thought that was going to happen. And um, hopefully, when we get up there, we won't have that problem. But um, yeah, it's nice to have our Yeah. Okay. Hey, yeah. Yeah, hopefully we'll see a crocodile. Come on, crocky, crocky, crocky. You look that way, I look this way. <laughs> So we're at Red Point, about a quarter of the way to where we're gonna go and end up. But it's pretty cool. We're in the middle of the Daintree Forest. And unfortunately, the railway system is closed down because there was a cyclone about three weeks ago, just before Christmas, and it took out the railroad. So. We don't get to do that part of it, but it still looks really cool. 
These trees are amazing. They're like straight as an arrow. Alright, here we are. Walking through the jungle. Dane Forest, pretty cool. Dane Tree Forest. Alright, look at this. Beautiful view. Wow. Hot and humid. Yeah, super hot. <laughs> So this is the oldest tropical rainforest in existence. And they say that it's flourishing more than ever before, which is really good news. Don't believe what you hear on the news. Barren Falls are really cool. So cool. I've never seen anything like that. And I've been to Iguanaza and Niagara. And that place, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, so, I'm smart. I told John, aren't they gonna bring the rain jacket? He's all, not a chance. Anyway, so we gotta sign off later. now. <laughs> Can't hear so you. I'm glad I have this. I love you, Dini. Thank you so much. <laughs> So this is closed due to a cyclone three weeks ago. So we just get to walk to Karanda, check it out. And we'll take the Sky Tram back. Saint Saviors.
our car at Juicy Rental Car. And we are headed to Airly Beach today. Okay, this is the car. Here we go, ready? Yeah. Road trip. Here we go. Early beach. See you in a bit. <laughs> 